finding bad data within your SPM solution still remains a largely reactive process, with sales reps typically finding the bad data first. So what does Varicent provide out of the box? And what configuration options can be used to ensure bad data is effectively and proactively handled? Within the normal method in which data is processed, the start is when data is imported and at the end, the bad data is either visible or it has been resolved. But in between, there are three typical steps in which bad data is found or fixed. And it's these three areas where data solutions can be applied. So let's take a look at each of these three areas in turn. When considering core data that might be bad, Varison provides out of the box functions where it will check if the core data is suitable and correct. Although to handle bad data more effectively, how can the data not only be checked, but also cleansed? So here we can see a set of transactions in which key data is missing and duplicate records exist, both very common. But by using scripts within the Varicent solution, we can not only check for different scenarios, but when found, missing data can be added and duplicate records can be removed. For handling bad hierarchy data, here we can see a transaction that includes a product ID that doesn't exist in the related product hierarchy. And so to proactively handle this scenario, data transformation scripts can be used to identify such scenarios and write additional informa audit information, which administrators can then use to get the bad data fixed. And finally, Development can be used to create processes and functions as a way of fixing the bad data with an emphasis on proactively informing the administrators when bad data has been found, enabling the bad data to be routed to its correct audience, providing the ability for bad data to be fixed, and including an approval checkpoint before reprocessing. So to summarize, the key takeaways to consider when developing data solutions for bad data is, number one, make sure the data quality is checked and it can be transformed to make it clean. Number two, be sure to validate against hierarchies, hierarchies and can it be transformed to support business scenarios. And finally, make sure self-service functions and processes are used to cleanse and resolve the data. That concludes this brief tutorial. For more information on how bad data can be administered, please follow the next tutorial. Thank you for your time.